Okay, so I continue on from checking the KP error. One of the key things that I always look for is how the sink is left. Um, so the taps are clean, there's uh, plenty of washing up liquid there. The sinks are, are clean and dry. That, that indicates to me that they've taken time, uh, the fine and detail that they've dried the sink. Um, I'll check the dishwasher as well too. We're looking for any build up around the edge, just general the outside, the inside, where it's been uh, cleaned out and looked after properly, washed out. I run my finger along the inside there, make sure there's no build up of uh, any scum or grease or anything. Um, I'll have a look at the jets to make sure that part of the, the, the close down is that they've unscrewed it all, they've cleaned it, they've put it back together so it works effectively. I'll also check the hot water while I'm here as well too to ensure that there's hot water in the KP in the KP area as well as blue roll and hand washing facilities. Um, it's all really clean, I'm really satisfied with that. On top of checking for chemical, I'll also check for to ensure that we've got the correct chemical that's going into the dishwasher. And, and it's full. Um, they both seem fine to me. The bottles are clean. Uh, it appears to be working correctly. I'll make sure the dishwasher is turned off. Um, in the KRP area and throughout the kitchen, you need to make sure there's an ample supply of clean sanitizer, which needs uh, we need to have it in every section of the kitchen. And you also need to have it in the KP area. It needs to be marked clearly in, in the bottle and what's actually in the bottle. We use a thermal sanitizer. We also need to have a degrease as well and plenty of it as well too for floor cleaning and to remove all grease during, um, during clean down. Uh, I'm satisfied that they have enough. Um, chopping boards, um, I'll inspect the uh, chopping boards. I'm going to have to make a note here because I'm, I'm not happy with the condition of the chopping boards. So what we're looking for is a clean chopping board that is clean. Um, it's not scratched, you can clearly see this is, this is the chopping board that needs to be removed and needs to be thrown away. Um, so the green one needs to be thrown away. Um, you need to, you can't have the chopping boards stacked together. They need to have a gap between each one, like so, so that air can circulate and mould and pathogens and bacteria doesn't, is not allowed to breathe. All these chopping boards, in my view, um, they're, 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 they're scratched and deteriorated and they need to be replaced. So in my comments, I'm going to add a comment and recommendation that the chopping boards need need that to be replaced and I'm going to give it a three day limit. Um, I'm going to follow this through with the chef in the morning um, and I will either have the chef order them or I'll place the order myself.